government shutdown. That's a story we're talking about all day. Good afternoon, I'm Brian Stewart, and welcome to your Midday Web Update. Now, I'm here with reporter Catherine Patterson, who's been trying to get in contact with congressmen all morning. Now, Catherine, tell me a little bit about what's going on here. Well, um, we're trying to get in touch with these congressmen and these senators, um, trying to see what their message is to the constituents. They're trying to talk to their, their representatives, and they're getting no answers, and they really have no idea what's going on. And we're facing that problem because we can't really get anyone to speak with us. So um, we've been trying all morning, and we will continue to try and get to talk to them and get some answers and see, you know, what's going to happen for these constituents. How, when will this end? Now, I understand you, you did get one person on the phone, but that's about it. Yeah, we actually spoke um, with a deputy secretary or a um, press deputy secretary person. We got her to comment just basically to say that, She's gotten an increase in calls, but we have really no average of how many calls have been coming in or what the types of questions or concerns about the constituents. So um, that's what we're trying to figure out right now. All right, well, thanks, Catherine. We'll have more on this at 5. And I'm here with reporter Blake Ansley, who's working on a story about a potential compromise between Republicans and Democrats to get this government shutdown stopped. Now, Blake, I understand you have some late-breaking information. What did you find out? That's right. There's been a lot of words flying out of Washington after the Republicans proposed a kind of agreement last night to start refunding Congress bit by bit, but Obama has agreed to meet with Congress leaders from both sides tonight at 5.30 and resolve hopefully the government shutdown and the approaching October 17th deadline to raise the national debt ceiling. So hopefully, hopefully we'll see more than one resolution coming out of tonight's meeting. Thanks, Blake. We're here to hear first President Obama going to meet with Republican leaders tonight at 5.30. Now let's go down to the news studio and get a look at the weather forecast with Kendall Forward. And now we're down here in our news studio with our weather woman, Kendall Ford. Kendall, a little bit, what's the forecast? Well, we talked about Tropical Storm Jerry earlier in the week, and that's actually not going to have any effect on us so far that we've been watching. But we are looking at some other weather patterns down in the Caribbean, and that has not so far brewed into a tropical storm, but we'll keep an eye on that for later on in the week. So far, it's just going to bring in some more showers, some wetter weather, but that's not going to happen until Sunday and later on in the weekend. But right now, for the rest of the week, we're looking at some really nice dry weather, more of what we've been seeing so far. Speaking of the weekend, I'll just ask a question on everyone's mind. What's the game day forecast going to look like? It's looking like beautiful weather over in Tennessee, so if you're he thinking of heading over there for the game, you're in luck because it's just pretty much more of what we've been seeing so far this past week. All right, thanks, Kendall. We look forward to more of that fall weather, and you can follow us on Twitter at, at Grady News Source. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and go to our website at gradynewsource.uga.edu.